Hello Forbes Elementary, this week we celebrate Veterans Day. And a veteran is anyone who has served in our armed forces. And our armed forces are the different forces that help to protect our country and help us have freedom, like the Air Force, the Army, the Navy, the Marines, the Coast Guard, all of those groups, and there's also the National Guard, all those groups help to serve our country and help to protect us. And we like to honor those people who have served in our military and also even those who are serving who are serving right now the, who will be veterans we want to honor them and I have a cool book that talks a little bit about our veterans and the ways that we can honor them Memorial Day is another day that we use that we will memorialize or remember people who have died and those who have served our country as well and this story deals with Memorial Day, but it also ties to Veterans and Veterans Day. And it's called Rolling Thunder by Kate Messner and Greg Ruth. It's written for my dad, Tom Shermer, and for all of our veterans with gratitude. For everyone who leaves home in service of others, and for those who hold them in their hearts until they return. Rolling Thunder Freedom Ride. Today will be at Grandpa's side. Early morning, leaving home, gleaming wheels and polished chrome, Grandpa rides for Joe and Tom, friends he lost in Vietnam. Vietnam was a war that some of our grandparents, probably some of your grandparents might have served in, or um, that happened, I believe, in the 1960s. Clicking, clacking, railroad track. Our trip is for Uncle Zach. Flying airplanes far away, his pitcher rides with me today. Through my windows, buildings, towns, meadows rich with greens and browns. Now our journey is almost done. Obelisk and setting sun. Pentagon and city lights, finally our camping sites. Grandpa's friends with arms of steel greet us and prepare a meal. Potomac River, dark and deep, whispered memories, friendship, sleep. Way too early morning light blooms from pink to yellow bright. The Pentagon, you can see in the background, that's by our national capital. It's a government building where they um, do a lot of the work, including the headquarters, I believe, of our armed forces. Lines of bikes are miles long, shining half a million strong, rumbling, grumbling, engines roar, peace signs, high fives, spirits soar. Motors growling, roaring near, crowds that cry and wave and cheer, raising flags of white and black for those who never made it back. Here he is riding in the sidecar with his grandpa. For soldiers lost in other days, POWs, MIAs, POW sounds for prisoners of war. Sometimes when you're in a war, you're captured by the other um, side and you'll be their prisoner. And so they're called prisoners of war. And missing in action means that they went on a mission and never came back. And so they probably died or, or something happened and they never returned. For soldiers serving still today, missing families far away, rolling, slowing to a crawl, stopping. There it is. The wall, 
polished marble, stark and bare, touch a name and say a prayer. On this wall, they have the names of all those people who have served and passed away or died. Leave a single flower, kneel, names in charcoal, cry, and heal. Memories, speeches, quiet crowd, bugle song, and heads are bowed. Setting sun and rising moon, whispered wishes come home soon, bound by war, forever tied, one last look, it's time to ride. Rising smoke and glowing ember, Ride for freedom, ride, remember. Then here's an author's note at the end. Every year on Memorial Day weekend, veterans ride and their supporters gather in Washington, D.C. for the Rolling Ride for Freedom, a demonstration honoring America's veterans. Motorcycle riders number in the hundreds of thousands. That's a lot of people. Many more come to watch and wave, all with a common message. We will never forget. I know that I am blessed to live in America. I like our country. I like our state. I like our city. I like our school. I like that I, that me and my family can go to school and learn and have lots of freedoms and that those freedoms are protected by people who serve our country and are in armed forces. And um, I don't know, there's no place in the world I'd rather live than here. I think we live in a pretty good, great place. And if you think of history, if you look back in history, the world has had a lot of wars and fighting and people not getting along. And I believe we live in a country that has more freedoms and more people getting along than it ever has, um, than any place really has in history. And what a great blessing. We're not perfect. There's still lots of mistakes and a lot of things that go wrong, but it's still, Great, and, we see, and we're always working and trying to get better, and you will be able to preserve that future and help make the future even better as you might choose to serve or to work or to enjoy your freedoms in uh, our country as well. I invite you today to do something with your teachers, to honor veterans, and to remember your freedoms and remember those people who have sacrificed to help us have an amazing place to live and learn and to grow up. Um, I think I'll also attach some songs. The songs of our armed forces, each armed forces group has a song. And next year, I'm hoping that we can do a veterans assembly with our fifth grade, and we might include each um, of you to help learn one of the songs that you could sing and we could um, bring some veterans here. We could invite veterans here and honor them at our school. So I'd like you to um, maybe listen to those songs as you do an activity today to hear them and to think about them. And then next year we might even be able to learn them and be able to sing them for some veterans. Have a great Veterans Day and think of the blessings you have um, that have been given to you and offered to you because of those who have served.